Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Called Wild. Today we're finally doing a trophy lodge tour. As you can see, I'm at the Safari Lodge, which is currently the lodge I'm using for my trophies. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Um, just have a few things to say before I go in. Uh, some of these trophies um, are from different maps. Not all of them are from Hirschfelden. Um, you guys probably already know that I have some from Yukon, um, some from uh, Verhanga Savannah. So, yeah, and the most important thing I want to say is that this lodge is sort of a work in progress. So, not all these rooms in the lodge are have animals in them. Some of them don't have any anything at all. So. Yeah, that's basically what I want. All I want to say before we uh, head in. So starting off here, we have a diamond moose right here. This guy actually gone on Yukon Valley. He's my only diamond moose. Um, this guy was actually level four when I shot him. I had no idea he was gonna make diamond, but he made diamond. Um, I don't know what minimum is f for the moose. I think it's something like 270 something. I, I believe they changed the scores a few times, but here he is. Right here. Um, here's our Harlequin Duck. This was actually the first diamond um, that I ever got on Yukon Valley. I was sort of walking around near the shore. Um, of the, uh, the big lake where you spawn out um, and I saw this guy um, he was a level 3 and he was so it's sort of like the same story that happened on Revon Tuli um, so that's pretty cool this guy is a piebald harlequin duck and I'm not sure if they're actually like super rare because I've seen a lot of them but you know it's a pretty cool trophy to have next to the diamond here is an albino warhog we got, um, and the story of it is actually kind of funny. So there was a nine legendary cape buffalo. Um, it's not this one, by the way. Unfortunately, he trolled, um, but next to him was standing this guy. Uh, I saw this little white dot next to him, and it seems like a lot of the warthog zones are pretty pretty close to cape buffalo zones. So. That's pretty cool. Here is the last diamond I got on Verhanga. Um, by last diamond, I mean uh, after I got this guy, I decided to move off and go to Hirschfeld for a while. Um, so this guy actually wasn't the biggest Cape Buffalo. 151.5 is actually pretty small for them. Um, he scored like I think minimum for them is 151.1, I think is um, the score for them to make diamond. He's only four above, which is actually pretty good, but um, not the biggest I've seen. Um, and here we have some rares. This is not the same piebald moose that we got on Revon Tuli. This is actually the piebald moose that I got on Yukon Valley, um, which was way back you could see the time 2022 um, 0220 um, and so I just started to make like a setup for them you know the two albinos next to each other and the two uh, piebald next to each other this black tailed deer was actually the first piebald I've ever gotten um, she was on Layton Lakes so yeah um, here's an albino moose um, I also got on Yukon Valley. The story about her is actually kind of interesting because it was snowing because you know it snows on Yukon Valley and I couldn't really see her but then she was like moving around um, and she went behind a tree and that's when I finally was able to spot her really well. Here is an albino mule deer. I think she was my first albino. Um, Unfortunately, I've never gotten a melanistic. I really, really want one. Um, I'm not sure if they're rarer than albino. 
but yeah. Here's our light gray leucistic um, goose. You can see the uh, on the back side of her, I like that. Like, I really like that look of her, like the um, the gray on her wings and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And here's the diamond we got yesterday, the diamond golden eye. Um, I like him more like that. But this guy, um, yep, yeah, got him yesterday. Um, I'll post the link to the video um, yesterday of um, how we got him. Um, here are my two diamond wildebeests. This one was the first diamond wildebeest that I've gotten. Um, this was the exact same wildebeest that I filmed in that video where I shot the diamond wildebeest. Um, and so yeah, I'll also post that video in the link of this, of the description. Here's my biggest diamond wildebeest, 39.8. He came right up on me and I decided to uh, take him iron sights with the 308. It's a pretty cool trophy. Here's a piebald moose. Um, this is the one we got on Revlon 2 I actually want to put her here. Like that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. We have two piebalds. So here is the diamond fallow deer um, that we got. I was hunting for geese, and then I looked out of my blind because I got a fallow deer call. And here, the, here he was. I thought he was a level four at first, but it was actually a five medium, two sixty five point three. I think he was ten twenty over. Um, here's an albino cape buffalo. It's a female. I actually had to sh shoot her a few times with the uh, seven millimeter because the seven millimeter I wouldn't use against cape buffalo. Um, up close, it's pretty good. It has pretty good penetration, but from very far away, I'm just not good with it. With Cape Buffalo, I usually use the 300, so we got, we didn't penetrate her lungs, so we had to shoot her three times, so that's why she's a bronze. She would have been a silver, but, you know, doesn't really matter. Here's our, um... Diamond European Bison 292. This guy actually scored 20 above the minimum for diamond. The minimum for diamond is 270, so he scored 20, 20, um, 22 um, over. I mean, yeah, 22 over from 7 270. So that's pretty cool. Here is the uh, multi mount. Um, we have our. Um, leucistic plains bison we have our gray female I'll try to change that female once we go back on Yukon and start to look for rare females um, and then we have our diamond gray wolf I believe it's this one right here the one that's lunging at the bison and so that's pretty cool he was actually my first uh, diamond wolf too Here's just a a wonky bighorn. You can see it curls more on the right side and curls less on the left. Kind of goes behind the ear as well. Thought that was kind of funny, so just put it in here. Here is actually an albino fallow deer we got from the missions on Hirschfelden. So this guy. Um, you guys, anyone could get them. You could just do the missions in Hirschfelden. Um, it may take a while, but I mean, it's not a lot of uh, quests to do before you get them. But I would recommend doing the quest so you can get the albino. Because you normally don't see albinos like this, um, <laughs> they're pretty rare, especially gold ones. Alright, so now heading into the main room, we have an albino roe deer on a plaque. Um, 
She was just running around on the fields. There's not really a story to her, but that's, that's pretty cool. I know albino roe deer are actually um, pretty rare, too. Um, I think that's piebald. I'm not sure. Here's a diamond turkey. This is actually the first diamond ever I've ever gotten in Call of the Wild. Um, I decided I put him with the multi mount, but the multi mount just didn't look good, so I just decided to put him here. One of my most prized possessions in this lodge is the male diamond gensbug. These are one of the hardest things to hunt in Call of the Wild. Um, and I almost messed this guy up, so their spine goes all the way down to like all the way down here. I'll point point at it my camera. All the way down here. Like about that notch, I think. I'm not sure, I'll have to harvest one to find out. But they go really low. So I tried to heart shot him, but I actually hit the spine. So I thought he was gonna drop, but then I saw his health, and I decided to take a follow-up shot that instantly dropped him. We got double and long liver on that, oh. so we almost messed him up too. So I was pretty lucky. Um, this guy, one of the last trophies of this trophy lodge exhibit. Um, he's a dark fur type male. These guys used to be uh, common. But now they're rare. They look really cool. Decided to put them with the um, male gems book. Hopefully, the um, Expansive Worlds comes out with a multi mount um, for gems book. So you can like put them together and stuff. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my trophies in my trophy lodge. Um, sorry about the length of the video, uh, I'll try to edit it a bit, um, maybe do some cuts, we'll see if it's too long, but, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.